Okay, here today that shares just some good pointers to how to use Proof HQ. So you've just got your link for Proof HQ from your Brilliant Marketing Manager. This is what your screen is going to look like when you open. You've got your home screen, your ad comments, and then all comments that have been made so far are going to stream down the right hand side. I would suggest immediately going to your filter tool here then clicking on current page only. This will now only show you the comments that were made on this page one that you're looking at right here. So you can see that I've made here a make this host text black or navy. Okay, then if you had that same comment, you do not have to make the comment. Therefore, not having multiple comments about the same thing, which is our goal. So let's go to page two. Here you've got one comment here where I've said, delete the word represented. So let's say you wanna make another comment on this page too. For example, I wanna use this box tool to specifically call out that I want this earn CEH call out to be larger. So I'm gonna say, make call out larger. Always save your comments. You must hit save or they will not save and they will just disappear. So that is the box tool. You must, if I just make a comment right here, if I say change to two and I give this, it's making that comment generally on this page too and the artist or your marketing manager is not going to know what you're talking about. So do not make general comments on pages unless you're just talking about the overall approach of the page. Always use a add comment tool, the text tool, the box tool, a draw tool. So let's learn a little bit about the text tool. Let's go to page three here. And let's say that you wanna change one of these opening receptions. So I'm gonna highlight opening reception. I'm gonna have multiple options. I can make a comment just about opening reception. If I want to change the color of the text, I could put that here, like change this to orange. Or I can replace the text, and it's going to say replace opening reception with, I'm going to say opening dinner. Or we can just say delete opening reception, and it's going to say delete opening reception, and all you have to do is hit save. Okay, next you've got this draw a free hand line tool. So you can literally draw through that if you want to, or draw a circle around something if you would like to. Any way you want to call something out. Just like that, and then you make your comment here. Other comments are straight lines, say you want to X through something. Um, you can do an arrow, like I'm going to point at that guy's head and say this is gross, yuck. Save that. You've got a highlight tool. So this works a little bit different than your text tool. It actually almost puts like a box of highlight over your text, but this you could highlight an entire area of the page or whatever you wanna highlight to get the artist's attention there. And then make your comment here. Got it? And always hit save. Let me cancel that. So those are really basically the, the best tools here for editing. So let's go back down to some of the filtering options. So your other options here, you can do the comments filtered by time, which no one really cares about that, or by page, which I would say by page is the best. You can also, if you say that you're looking for someone's specific comments, and I want to just see what Debbie and Sarah and AJ have written, I can do that. I can click on their names, and it'll tell me just on those pages what they've commented. Or I can click on Debbie's name here and like that. And then I can say current, I would uncheck current page only. And then over here on the side, it'll show me all of Debbie's comments. Of course, she hasn't made any comments on this piece yet. So those are kind of that, those tools there. So I want to show you a couple other things. Um, say that you don't like this side-by-side -side view and you want a single sheet. 
that is just over here. Go to single, and then you can view each page a little bit larger on your single. Down here, if you ever zoom in or the pages get off, this little four arrowed fit to page icon here is perfect to get your page centered and as big as possible on your screen, which is kind of nice. Okay, so I want to show you something uh, on version one. So we've gone through one round of revisions. And as you can see, when I, you still have access to the first round, it will auto populate every single comment here. There's like six billion comments, right? First, I'm going to go to my filter button. I want to hide result. So when the artist gets this and they've done a comment, they actually put this green check mark. They resolve that comment. So if you hide the resolved, you'll see all of the comments here that the artist didn't know what to do with because he or she was confused or the marketing manager was confused about your comment or had another question. So these are unresolved comments here. Okay, and then you can read those and see, oh, okay, uh, blah, 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 We're, are we deleting this? Are we keeping it? Cassie's going to talk to Mary Beth about it and make a decision. All right, Debbie made a comment. Here's a perfect example. She just put three, but it's for this whole page, so we weren't sure what she was trying to say on this page that was three. So I'm saying, okay, where does this need to be altered? I don't know where you want three change to, right? So that can help you with round one. You can also, I'm going back to round two. So this is the brand new round that we were just now getting, right? If you want to compare this round to the first round, you can do that. You can do that side by side. It's pretty cool. So this tool here is called the compare tool. It looks like a little monitor split in half, right? Click compare, and it is going to open. Here's your round two. This is the new one. Here's the file name. And then over on the right now is round one. And it's going to show you here's round one. And Cassie made this comment about the logo. Okay, yeah, the logo was added. Doesn't look like there was any other comments on that page. We're still, let's say, current page only. So then you can see and compare them. Okay, we've went from this all being conjoined, where we split this off, that looks much better. So you can literally view the document side by side if you would like to do that. So that is another tool. I think that about sums it up. Um, some of the general comments would be to never really ask questions. Uh, if I go on here and I wanna add a comment, I'm gonna, highlight this general event information and I'm going to say do we really want it to say general question mark well that's kind of confusing when the marketing manager gets that back they don't really know what you want to decide who's making the decision so get those kind of questions out of the way with the person that you should be talking with and then make the comment don't, please do not ask questions on this document. It doesn't really help anybody. Um, other than that, I think that pretty much sums up this tutorial. Happy editing.